can you use a REST API on server? Well, there was a question on the community on uh, using script no? a script on uh, server that was written for cloud. Now this question from Edward Diaz is uh, very interesting. Now his question is very simple. Can I use the code in server? or what I need to change this code to use in server 8. Uh, what is the translation from cloud to server? Now basically this is the code where uh, if you look at the code it is uh, basically uh, so by, by the way this code is uh, something that you can use to do something on uh, on Jira cloud using a script you now for Jira and for using script you now on the cloud Obviously, you have to use the REST API uh, to interact with Jira. For example, in this particular code, if you look, the code is, of course, very simple. It is uh, basically retrieving the issue, and it is also just uh, trying to display the issue or the fields in the issue. And uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, using a REST API. And if you read the question again, you cannot really use the same code as it is if you are trying to uh, do the same thing on the server. However, you can of course uh, make REST calls on the server version of uh, Jira. Uh, you don't need to because uh, if you're using a script now for Jira on server, if you're doing things within Jira, you can do a lot of things. In fact, quite a lot of things using uh, REST API or not for using. Uh, not using REST API, using Jira Java APIs. But uh, if you want to do something outside Jira, maybe you want uh, Jira to connect to another tool. Maybe you want to integrate Jira with uh, maybe uh, any other pro proprietary tool, or maybe you want to do something outside Jira, or you want to do something in Jira from outside. So you can actually use uh, Scriptna. Uh, so you can use Scriptna to make uh, REST calls on uh, server as well. But this code will not work as it is. You, I, I mean, it, it is groovy, so it is not massively different. But uh, uh, you need to modify it. And by the way, a, a bit of self promotion here. So if you want to learn Scriptna on cloud and also on server, I hope you know already if you are following my channel. But if you are new, I have hundreds of videos, literally hundreds, hundreds of videos uh, on uh, Scriptna for Jira on both server and cloud. If you go to this uh, page, you can uh, find uh, all the videos starting from the introduction. And uh, if you if you read, if you're looking at any of the video, if you also read that particular page, you, you might also find the code wherever applicable. For example, things like getting a list of all the users or uh, getting a list of workflows. You will find code, I share code that will help you. But at the same time, if you want to do something similar on, on cloud, things are slightly different because on cloud, as I mentioned, you have to use REST API. So uh, you can learn how it works. If you if you want to, you can, of course, go through my videos. On cloud, I don't have hundreds of videos yet because uh, you are using REST API. And I think once you understand how REST API works, how you can ret retrieve something or how you can update or add something using REST API, it is not very difficult to use actually uh, a tool like Scriptna on cloud at least because you don't need to uh, get familiar with all the uh, Java APIs. Uh, of course, it is always good to know what all you can do with REST API, which is definitely limited, but it, 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 can, it can let you do a lot of things. And apart from, of course, uh, interacting with Jira using REST API, if you are looking at, if you are going through this uh, course, it is of course free on YouTube. Uh, I have of course talked about different features of uh, script runner on cloud as well. Things like uh, you know various things that you can do with workflows, listeners, and uh, other things, similar things. So do take a look at my my course, and uh, you don't have to like go through each and every video. Come to this page, do Control F, and let us if you want to learn how listener works. So just type listener for both uh, Scriptna for Jira on cloud and also let us do the same search on uh, on <laughs> the server version. You will find uh, 
plenty of videos doing things with the listener and similar things so that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also and you also learned something new today thank you very much